Businesses meet at a time of economic uncertainty, two-speed recovery, and rapid digitalization. These factors are forcing companies to rethink their growth strategies. With this rethink comes a whole host of new rules and opportunities. Rule one, the consumer is going digital. An explosion in high-tech devices, rich content, and social media means that businesses can reach the previously unreachable consumer and provide them with personalized, seamless, and consistent experiences. But this is about embedding new technologies into company operations, such as customer service, as well as providing the consumer with digital tools. Capitalizing on digitalization doesn't mean creating iPhone apps or Facebook pages. Enterprises need to be digital themselves. Rule two, innovation is imperative. Innovation is a key driver of change. And in the current climate, this is more important than ever before. Over the last decade, there has been a sharp global increase in the number of patents granted. One revamping a surgical stapler, reducing the cost from $80 per use to $2 per use by making it reusable, and therefore adapting it for the Indian market. To speed up innovation, companies need to open up platforms and take advantage of the rise of collaborative communities. Rule three. Emerging markets, a new frontier for growth. According to the S&P 500, companies that derive more than half of their revenue from emerging markets are currently growing at a rate of 10%, compared with those that don't at 6%. Global companies, emerging markets, and world-class products are a winning bet. But expanding operations in these markets demands a strategy that is based on more than market size. Business leaders need to recognize differences between mature and emerging markets and adjust accordingly. The understated Tiffany's jewelry store in New York is very different to its striking counterpart in Shanghai. Rule four, predicting behaviors with big data. Companies need to put data to use to predict consumer behaviors and make real-time business decisions. And it is difficult to find a set of data that has more influence on business opportunities than demographics. The demographic dividend describes an increase in the rate of economic growth due to a rising share of working age people in a population. The effect is like a pig in a python, where the bulge in the python's body represents the population in a particular age group. When the bulge reaches the working age, it marks the highest period of economic growth for the country. And as it moves further along, it resembles the aging population. Businesses need to reform their practices to meet the challenges of both these stages. Rule five, operational efficiency is shaping the companies of tomorrow. To respond quickly to variations, companies need to make their supply chains more efficient and reduce their carbon footprint. Mobile technology and cloud computing are major forces in making this possible allow businesses to set up in emerging markets faster and at lower cost. So, despite economic uncertainty, there are opportunities for businesses to grow, but they will come to those who embrace these new rules for change.